Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It's your boy Tom Origins and in today's video we are talking about Watch Dogs Legions. We've gotten some preview gameplay here. The final preview we're going to see before the game releases in literally a week's time. We are so close to the release date of this game. It's coming out the 29th of October in the UK, worldwide, everywhere. So get ready to get it on your PlayStation 4, your Xboxes and whatnot. But then you'll be able to get a, an upgrade for it. You'll be able to get it on the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. I'll be playing mine on the Series X. I probably won't even be getting it for the One X. I just want to play this next-gen game on the next-gen console. You know, it comes out at the end of its lifespan, uh, the console's lifespan. So I would rather enjoy it in its full-fledged next-gen glory. So that's when I'll be playing it, probably December time. We'll be doing a lot of niche tutorials, a lot of very small, uh, like much more smaller little bits of content, not like your average story walkthroughs. We tend to do things a little bit different here on the channel. And that's the type of stuff we're going to be covering. It's just like little tutorials and little niche things like what you can collect and find and things like that. And I've been doing a lot of funny moments with this game. I see it having a big potential to just be like a combat uh, sandbox game with a lot of hacking and technology used at the same time. But I am English. Uh, I am in Manchester, not London, but I have visited London multiple times. So it'd be nice to see a new game set in modern-ish times, I guess futuristic times technically, but it's set in London and that would be really nice to see and apparently they've done a really good job remastering uh, London completely geographically correct and you can go and see Brixton and you can go and see, you know, Town Square and you can go and see Parliament and Buckingham Palace and Big Ben and things like that, so I'm looking forward to seeing all the different possibilities of exploration in the game. Um, also, when it comes to the characters and the recruits, you can recruit Everybody, every NPC, well, I don't know how much this is going to actually be true or not, but apparently every NPC has a unique category of skill and they're all uniquely recruitable. Some will be better for tech, some will be better for brute force, some will be better at, you know, more, more secret attributes, I guess. But there's a lot of dark, gory sort of combat melee action as well and a lot of really cool high tech stuff. So it's a nice blend of genres. We get a lot of beat em up stuff and we also get a lot of sort of funny and like light hearted sort of technological stuff as well. So I'm looking forward to it. The people, you know, don't get me wrong, it's a Watch Dogs game. Uh, the graphics aren't the world's best. You know, it, it does look a bit r rough around the edges on this preview footage. I don't know about next gen footage, but this footage, it looks a bit, you know, the people look a bit waxy. They kind of look a bit like cartoons, but it is meant to be sort of like, like comic book stuff. They're not going for hyper realism. So I can I can let that go. Uh, it doesn't look ugly in any sense of the word. It looks good, uh, but yeah, not uber high tech realistic. But there'll be ray tracing on Xbox uh, One X or Series X as, and Series S, as far as I know. And there's going to be lots of different gameplay mechanics you can do when it comes to your combat. There's going to be a lot of hand to hand combat, a lot of stealth, a lot of uh, aggressive. But they they say over you know Ubisoft that say that you can do this game however you choose with whatever sort of specialists you want to acquire and go for. So. If you want a crew of like loud mouthed, really, you know, in your face type characters, that's who you can go and recruit and um, you can do a mission for them and then you can recruit them and actually play as them. So I, I don't know how they're going to work with the idea of a main character because is it going to be one main character that you play as and then you can rotate kind of State of Decay style? I've never known a game where it's not had like a main protagonist other than State of Decay. So it will be interesting to see what you're going to actually be able to do in regards to the players if like you're not invested in a main character then how are you going to progress the game? And, and is it going to just be more sort of trial and error, don't get attached to the characters, get attached to the story type thing? It'd be interesting. As, as a narrative, it'll be a very interesting way to see the developers work on making us care about these characters. And as I say in a minute in the preview footage, we're going to see the different sort of specialists you can go out and recruit. There'll be more than just these ones, but these ones in particular, people say are very good to recruit. So we have a lot of combat heavy characters and we also have a lot of characters that have these unique skills so if you get a barrister which is a type of character if your character gets caught and arrested you can get them out of jail like a get out of jail free character which is kind of cool there's these um, high-tech beekeepers as well who can use like these nanobot bees to go and attack people and they kind of look silly but kind of comical at the same time and fun and then the combat does look entertaining like getting a swarm of bees to come and attack you would be pretty scary so <laughs> I think that's going to be pretty interesting to see how that's going to play into your gameplay. And there's also loads of like different stuff like military people, spy people, royal guards, getaway drivers, things like that. So 
it's going to be a big mix. And you can also require old people as well as young people. So there's no ageism in this game. You know, it's all everyone is, is open for recruitment and you can play and experience the game in multiple different characters' eyes because of this. And that might be something that's really good. So uh, even the football hooligans are getting a shout, which is awesome. And uh, that's that's so cool to see, like just the, the diversity of playable characters. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing this. Like I say in the last video when I was talking about it, Assassin's Creed and this are two big games on the on the list. But as I say, solo channel, no no sponsory endorsements of financial backing or anything like that. It's all run through me. And um, yeah, I'm I'm in uni at the minute, and also got Christmases and birthdays coming up, so I'm saving money towards things and putting money towards things. But we've upgraded the setup a little bit with this new microphone. Hopefully, you can tell. Um, from old videos, we're also definitely getting the Series X on release day. That was a big push, but we managed to get it, which was awesome. And we're also going to be getting and playing a lot of next-gen content as and when it drops. I want to cover next-gen content as quickly as it comes out. And obviously that will be limited when it comes to the games, because I've got Cold War and I've got Cyberpunk ready to go. Uh, but this one and Assassin's Creed Valhalla might take a little bit longer so you might see them on the channel in december so bear with but we're going to get onto it we're going to get lots of next gen content over the next couple of weeks and months so hopefully you stay tuned to the channel like comment and subscribe for more thanks for watching this video guys and i'll see you in the next one goodbye